Okay, it's October 10th, 2021. I ain't used this in a couple of weeks. So that's probably two months. And I hadn't used this in a while. Pit Bulls Pro 600. First thing I gotta do is vacuum it all out. Vacuum is right there. Somebody was asking me what size this is. Brought my tape measure out. As you can see, it is 19 inches deep. Door opening is a little over 17 and a, almost 17 and a half inches, as you can see right there. And the height is probably a good nine inches. Inside cooking area is a little bit bigger. Let's take all these grates off. Take this off, take the pan off, and uh, vacuum this out. Get this fired up. I'm gonna do a grilled, smoked turkey breast. And as you can see, I got grass growing. There's a sneak peek on a future video. This is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. This is a little cooking video. The Pit Boss Pro 600 cooking a turkey breast. A few things I did I messed up. I should have made sure there was no neck attached. Really, I should have bought a boneless turkey breast last week and had it in the fridge to have my wife put it in the fridge to defrost. That would have been easier to cook. It's easier to cook because the bone and all that. Plus, it's easier to slice without the bone. So, first thing I didn't mess up is I didn't get a boneless turkey turkey breast second thing I did for this I didn't make sure there was the neck was not attached if you saw on some of the clips you saw part of the neck I should have cut that area out it was already getting one o'clock and I knew it was gonna take three or four hours to cook this turkey breast I think it would have been faster without the bone so that's another mistake I did third mistake I need to get me a phone stand for the house so I we'll have a better video. I'm going to order one here in a little bit on Amazon. I love Amazon. I do have an affiliate program. I'll put a link for the one I'm going to buy. And if you want to uh, click on it, do it. If you click on my Amazon link, my Amazon referral will be on yours. So every time you buy something from Amazon, I will get a portion of the sale. A few cents here, a few cents there. So if you want to help the channel out, you can just click on one of my Amazon links I leave. That leaves Ralph's Trucking Affiliate Program link on top of your Amazon. So anytime you buy anything, portion of sale will come to me. A couple cents here and a couple cents there. It adds up. So like I said, that's a few things I didn't uh, mistake. First, I didn't do a boneless turkey breast last week and had it defrosted. Because you can't find any that's not frozen right now. Second, I need a t uh, stand, but let me show you what I did. Cue the intro. <laughs> This grill ain't too bad, even though I hadn't used it in a couple since I did the ribs. Let me vacuum this out, put it all back together fire it up to get it hot and clean while I prepare the turkey breast. Let me vacuum this up. YouTube magic, it's clean. Now let's see if we can... Wow, just needs to be burned down. Pellets are almost out. I got a new bag in the garage, hickory. So let's see if we can fire this thing up. I got a lot of comments on my earlier videos about the pit boss. It is so much easier to take that grate out so you can get to the pellets easier to slide them down. They get stuck and hung up and not fall down. Yeah. I tried to get a boneless thawed chicken breast today. I could not find it. This is fresh turkey breast bone in. 6.30 pounds at $4 a pound, which is $25.18. 
So it's unpackaged, let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's got a temperature popper on it. I'm gonna cook it in the pan, in the smoker. I'm gonna eject it with this injectable marinade. Even comes with the injector itself. And after I do that, I'm gonna season it with beer can chicken seasoning from Weber. So it's unpackaged. We like their Tony seasoning, Creole seasoning. I usually use this on shrimp, when I grill shrimp. But what they recommend is shake it well, pour it into a glass, refrigerate what's left, because you're not gonna eject the whole bottle. You take the needle out of the package of the syringe, and you just eject. They say use it in the glass, so you won't contaminate the liquid, which you save. So let's do that. All right. Get a couple, an ounce. Here's the finished product. All I used was the Tony Crackers marinade, injectable butter. Used about a quarter of it. Rest will go in the fridge. You put it in a glass. I put a little Tony's Creole seasoning and a little Weber's beer can chicken seasoning. I'm gonna cook it on the smoker in the pan so I'll keep the juices. So let's do that next. I'm gonna cut it down to two, uh, 300. To 300. Let it, some of the heat come out. Since I'm cooking it in the pan, I'm gonna just leave it that way. So let's put the pan in. All right, the turkey breast is it. Breast side up, Red the skin on. I got a pan of water back there to keep it moist. Set at 300. Temperature needs to be 165, internal. All right, the turkey breast is it. Breast side up, Red the skin on. I got a pan of water back there to keep it moist. Set at 300. Temperature needs to be 165, internal. Okay, I got some lanolite butter, pink sea salt, put some butter on the corn with a little bit of sea salt and wrap the corn up. Do that for each year. We cook it about 50 minutes. It's in at 300 degrees. Let's see what she looks like. Got my thermometer. Alright, seeing about 110 degrees. 105. Let's try up here. Here, saying it's 92. Go ahead and put the corn on. Corn's on, turkey's on. So let's go. That okay, game turkey's showing about 125, needs to get to about 160. Eat an option. Close the door. Pit balls. Corn is getting very soft, so I'm gonna have to pull that off, bring that in the house. Been about cooking about two hours, corn about 45 minutes. Okay, still sitting at 29300. Showing about 152. Needs to get up to 160, 165. It's been on about two and a half hours at 300. All right, for some reason the popper is not popping. I give it another couple minutes. It's showing it's done. It's juicing up. I turned the temperature up a few minutes. in total it's set on that grill right at four hours and 15 minutes at 300 degrees like i said if you buy a 
boneless turkey breast and do this. I think it'll cook easier. It would be faster and the temperatures would be more sustained. Now, when I did carve this, like I said, I need to get me a phone stand, which I'm ordering right now on Amazon. The link will be in the description below. Like I said, for the affiliate program, if you click on any of my Amazon links, my affiliate program will attach to your Amazon page. So anytime you buy anything via Amazon, a portion of the sale comes to, to me. Price don't go up for you. They just pay a couple cents per dollar to me. Helps the channel out if you would like to do that. But four hours, four hours, 15 minutes for that six pound turkey. You need to let it rest about 15, 20 minutes. My wife was complaining about being hungry. That's why I didn't let it rest too much. But the turkey was nice and juicy. As you see in the photos, well worth it. Like I said, next time I'm gonna do a boneless, boneless turkey breast. That one was a bone in. I, like I said, I should have had made sure the neck was cut out. I didn't pay attention. I was trying to rush to get the turkey in. What will be something you would like to see cooked on the pit boss? Leave me comments below. And maybe I could do it. Like I said, I'm going to get a phone stand so I'll have a better video for the next time. It's something I've been meaning to do. I just ain't done it. Have a great day. And if you would, please thumb up the video. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what couple things you would like to see cooked. And I might just cook it on the pit boss.